Hey there, I am going to give um, Sierra Nevada's IPA Hop Hunter a try. Um, and so there has been this big push in American IPAs to get as much um, American hops flavor into their beer as possible. And they've really been pushing the envelope. But um, this has distilled hop oil in it. Can you even wrap your head around that? Like it's craziness. Um, and so uh, the only way to get more hops into some of these beers is to put like liquid hops in it, and that's what they're doing. Um, so this even says, Hop Hunter IPA is the first beer to feature oil from wet hops steam distilled directly in the field five minutes after harvest. We use this pure, powerful hop essence in concert with whole cone hops in our own brew kettle and in our Hop, tor uh, hop Torpedo, which is another um, beer that they provide. Um, to create the ultimate IPA experience. So, this promises to be intense. Um, and I, it's 6.2% alcohol by volume. Um, I'm going to judge this as an American IPA, uh, and we'll see how it falls in that category. Um, American IPA IBU range is between 40 and 70. I did not look up online in advance to find out what the IBUs, for, oh, it says it's 60. I love it when they tell me that. So 6.2% alcohol by volume, 60 IBUs. So I think it's interesting to note, I have always equated um, hops flavor with the IBU rating, um, the amount of hops to the IBU. And so if this has um, distilled hop oil in it, I was expecting something phenomenal like 5,000 IBUs or something. But what we're seeing here is 60. So it doesn't even top out of the uh, of the American uh, IP. I, IPA IBU range. That's a mouthful. Um, so let's give this a shot. And so now that I've opened it, I was also expecting I was going to get all this crazy hop going on, and I don't smell it until I bring it up to my nose. So aroma. Holy smokes, there's a lot of hops going on in there. This is pretty intense. Wow. So as it said, oh, so um, BJCP category 14B is American IPA. It says prominent to intense hop aroma with citrusy, floral, perfume-like, resinous, piney, and or fruity characters. Um, so I always feel like one of the, the strong, strong um, indicators of an American um, hops is um, grapefruit. I think another one is when it smells like marijuana. Um, you know, this is so skunky. It's crazy. I um, wonder if my neighbors can smell this. I wonder what's going on here. Anyway, um, many versions are high dropped and can have additional grassy aromas, although this is not required. Um, so some clean multi sweetness may be found in the background, um, but it's so hard to even smell past the hop intensity um, of this beer. I gotta tell you. Um, so appearance wise, the color range should be. Um, medium gold to medium reddish copper. Um, some can have an orange tint. This is a beautiful um, gold, uh, straw gold color. It is crystal clear. It's got um, nice carbonation. It poured with a good head. It has okay head retention. Um, and um, that's all um, standard for this particular category. Okay, so flavor. Hop flavor is medium to high and should reflect American hop character with citrusy, floral, resinous, piney, and or fruity aspects. Uh, medium to high, medium high to very high hop bitterness. Um, although the malt backbone will support the strong hop character and provide the best balance. So I think it's important to note that even in the in the style guidelines, um, it's suggesting that there should be hops that balance, excuse me, malts that balance out the hops. And let's see if that's true here. Woo! Wow. Okay, yeah. It's very interesting. It is incredibly hoppy. Um, and as a matter of fact, as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to take a picture of this and send it to my IPA-loving uh, acquaintance who needs to drink this beer. Um, I feel like um, the malt characteristics in this beer are a 
tongue sensation, sensation, and not a tongue flavor. It's not. It doesn't register to, register as a flavor. So um, I almost just tiny little bit get sweetness out of this, um, but the rest of it is all this intense hot bitterness. Um, excuse me, and it's very. Um, It's just so intense, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. After a couple of drinks, and I usually find it takes me several drinks of an IPA to really get in and experience the rest of the flavor, I can tell that there is some maltiness here and that that sweet sensation I'm getting on my tongue actually is a flavor. Um, but it burns off so quickly. It, it, the beer is dry, leaves your tongue dry, um, and it's um, astringent at the end. Um, and so it's like it burns off all that sweetness and you don't get to enjoy it in the finish. So um, the sweetness really is kind of part of um, the initial taste, but by the time you get to the end of that um, flavor, all the way to the finish, it's really not there. Um, Mouthfeel wise, um, it's it's so intense it's even hard to get to the mouthfeel portion of it. It's it's got good body. Um, it's very highly carbonated, and I don't know. Let me see here. So I guess it should have a hop derived. Um, oh, it says smooth, medium light to medium bodied mouthfeel. Um, so I would say it, it's it's riding the medium body um, line. It says it sh uh, it should it, um, that the medium bodiedness mouthfeel without hop derived astringency, although moderate to medium high carbonation, and can combine to render an overall dry sensation in the presence of malt sweetness. Um, so that being said, I feel like that's a lot of what's going on here. Um, it's very, it is, it is astringent and drying, um, and I think that they're suggesting that that's um, that that drying sensation is a characteristic of the, of the hop intensity. Um, and so, if that's the case, then I guess we are on par. Um, Body, the body is generally less than an English IPA. Uh, an English IPA tends to be a little bit heavier, thicker, uh, and I agree with that. This here is um, a little bit thinner. I don't want to say that it's um, that it's a thin beer. It's definitely not thin and watery, um, but it's a it's a um, a light to medium um, body. So overall impression, uh, it's uh, the for the category, and I kind of laugh at this point. It says decidedly hoppy and bitter. Um, that doesn't even like touch this because I think that would be a standard IPA and I think that this kind of pushes that standards those standards off a cliff. Um, this is um, a an incredibly hoppy uh, beer and um, I, I don't know um, I don't know that I'll even finish it and so I've poured my little tiny glass um, just because it's so hop intensive I think the colder or the warmer that it gets the more um, forward that that's going to be, and I really be able to. I think the oils will be even more intense. Um, so, wow, Sierra Nevada for putting as much hop as you can into this beer. That is really, really impressive. Um, and if you're an IPA lover, you have got to try this. Um, people who just love, and not even just an IPA lover, if you're a hops fanatic and you're, you know, into hop stupid. This is it. Not even Hop Stupid as the beer, because I think that might even be a beer, but like Hop Stupid, like S-T-O-O-P-I-D. This beer is Hop Stupid. Um, give it a try. Um, wow. I'm impressed. Oh, and then a little bit of gossip. Apparently, and I didn't buy one uh, to compare side by side, but they were side by side in the store because the, the guy is uh, into his beer gossip as well, uh, who shelves these beers at Whole Foods, said that um, Sierra Nevada, um, or Lagunitas, um, had a lawsuit, or at least threatened a lawsuit, um, to Sierra Nevada because their label was so similar. Um, and I think that's kind of pushing it. 
Um, however, I guess the the letters IPA were similar enough that they that they thought it was um, I don't know copyright infringement. And um, but the beer community gave them such grief about that that Lagunitas dropped. Uh, dropped the charges, charges, because they were going to go to jail, but anyway, dropped the case against them, and um, and now everybody is happy again, um, but I thought that was interesting, because La Cunitas and Sierra Nevada, like, to me, are not, um, not, I don't know, I would never confuse them, I suppose, but um, anyway, so if you see them, and you think they look similar, then you can side with Lagunitas on that, but anyway, give Hop Hunter a try if you're a Hop fan, uh, it's pretty intense. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good night.